What's up guys back here with another video and uh, I want to talk about and get my reaction to Showtime boxing Jermel Charlo taking on Brian Castano is the second time these guys fought um, The first fight was a was a draw between each other uh, Unfortunately, I didn't get to see that fight. I was probably watching something else at the time I don't remember off the top of my head, but nonetheless um, I got to watch the second fight here between the two but the highlights that I seen of the first fight it was phenomenal Charlo getting hurt in the third. Charlo stunning this guy in the uh, the tenth round. All right, it was an amazing fight. The first fight, I'm pretty sure it was. It was a draw. So this time around, um, Charlo and uh, Castillo did a fantastic job. You know, both guys definitely uh, implemented their game plans. I'm pretty sure they had against each other. Um, I'm gonna start off with Charlo first. Charlo did a amazing job of keeping his range range and distance at time, especially in the beginning rounds and the beginning of the fight. Definitely kept his range and distance there. Uh, using the jab, you, you know, he is long compared to Castillo. Castillo, I think, was a little smaller than him uh, in height. But, um, yeah, man, um, an amazing fight. Great uh, range and distance control by uh, by Trollo. He was the more active fighter in the fight. Um, it's not to say that uh, Brian Castillo uh, didn't do anything in the fight. You know, he really was, you know, he... He was there, man. Um, great combinations. Walking down um, Charlo for the majority of the fight. Smaller ring, too. It definitely was a smaller ring than what I usually see them fighting. Um, you know, smaller rings, I feel like you, you're you going to tend to have the fighters fight each other a little bit more just because it's a little bit of a smaller ring. You know, even though Charlo did a good job of utilizing the ring for the most part, like I said in the beginning. You know, after a while, he just started coasting in the ropes again a little bit. Um... And escaping out after he got touched a little bit by a Castillo. Um, I think Brian did a really good job, too. I love the over, the straight over-the-top rights that he was landing on Charlo most of the time. Wasn't big shots, but it landed and it looked good for him. Scoring points for him. Combinations on the inside whenever he did throw. Uh, when Especially when Charlo decided to stay up against the ropes. Not everything was landing uh, for sure for both guys. But it just looks good. I feel like Castillo definitely tried to... Um, still the fight in those later round towards the ending of those rounds. Most of the time that I seen, um, you know, Charlo though did a really good job of just maintaining, you know, and just being super um active. You know, both guys hitting each other with really really big shots, especially towards the ending too. When you know the later of the fight, uh, Charlo started landing the really really big shots, especially at the ending of round four, I believe, or, or ending of round five. Um, Charlo landed a really good uh, straight, you know, towards the ending of the round and kind of already rocked uh, Castaño a little bit. But um, again, Castaño having the heart to come out of each round, you know, take big shots. You know, I, I love that he was taking chances against Charlo. Charlo, big shot. You know, he got big, big power in his hands, you know, but Castaño did a really good job of just taking the chances. You know, and sometimes it'll pan out for him and sometimes it wouldn't. Especially since in the heat of the strength and in most of the exchanges that he had with Charlo inside the pocket. At times he didn't move his head out really much of the center line a little bit. Unless he was already walking in and trying to get to Charlo in that way. Um, you know, Charlo, again, that job that he that he showed tonight was really good. Uh, it was on point. It helped him get, you know, to the point, you know, keeping, you know, Castano guessing in the during the fight. Um, so the shot in round number ten that Cholo lands a really good uh, um, hook, and um, and I would say Castano didn't really. I don't feel like he really seen it that much. I don't think he's seen it at all. You know, it was a little bit of a late reaction to um, to to the shot that that Cholo threw. So that that hook was nasty, man, and it wasn't the craziest shot, but I feel like. I don't think Castino seen it as much. So I feel like his body, you know, just took some time to to react to it because he definitely got hit pretty, pretty well and pretty hard, you know, in the shots, you know, the short little shots. And then, from, you know, people with longer reach, you know, even if they're coming from like the hip or whatever, you know, you know, it, it's just a little stronger at times. You know, Charlo definitely had the straighter shots because it looks, 
you know, one, he has the reach. But um, that, that hook that landed on the inside in uh, round 10 that got the first knockdown for Charlo, you know, um, definitely rocked him really bad. And you could tell it was super delayed. Um, and then, but props to uh, Castellano to get back up on his feet. He tried to do something, you know, Charlo, again, instead of Charlo going crazy with punches, like a wilder, uh, he threw another jab, a really strong power jab, snapped the head back of, of Brian Castano and, uh, you know, got the finish to a body shot, left hook to the body shot, you know, to the body. Um, you know, amazing fight, man. Um, great fumble fight from both guys. Brian, it's not like it was a one-sided fight. I love when fights go back and forth as they did. You know, I still think Charlo edged out the majority of the rounds, but um, it was a very close fight up until the first knockdown there in round 10 and ultimately the finish. But I feel like Castillo, Castellano shouldn't go away, you know, like he, like a true loser. You know, he was he showed a lot of heart out there against Charlo. Um, you know, the Charlo brothers are awesome fighters. I love watching them fight, man. Um, man, I love the outdoor venue, too. They was in, like, this outdoor venue. It looked pretty cool, you know. Um, you know, great win for Charlo. I can't wait to see what is next for him. Um, an amazing fight between the two. A uh, great fumble fight for both guys. Um, you know, for Charlo, definitely needs to work on making sure his left hand is up. Because that, you know, he got hit with a lot of straights from Castano. You know, it wasn't fight-changing shots, but it, they did land. Some of them landed a little harder than others. Uh, definitely going to need to work on that for sure, 100%. You know, you don't want to be getting caught with, you know, or somebody who really good at throwing rights and land a pretty good right on you and you know stun you pretty bad or whatnot. But that was my only take for from this fight for Charlo. Castano did pretty good. Uh, you know I think he implemented the game plan that he needed to against Charlo. So you guys let me know down in the comment section. Uh, what do you guys thought of the fight, guys? If you liked it, really make sure to please throw the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell. You already know what's up, and I catch you guys in the next video. Peace.